So what about mistaken identity? That is the biggest lie sold ever. They love to talk about this mistaken identity thing. I'm telling you, only 1% of cases are mistaken identity. For the most part, I'm not saying they deserve what happened to them. But what I'm saying is there's no smoke without fire. Someone explain to me in the comment section below if mistaken identity is a real thing. Why does a lawyer, banker, stockbroker, aspiring astronaut, I don't know, ballet teacher, how comes none of these guys ever get dropped? Why is it always some you that is affiliated to the roles? But they never say that, obviously, in the news reports and that. But why is it always some young you that that's gets dropped or is affiliated? Like, do you understand what I'm trying to say? Like, it's never someone who's an upstanding member of the community. I don't believe in God, but it's never someone who's pre preaching the word of Jehovah. Yeah, it's always some you. Like, one percent of cases is like mistaken identity, but for the most part, but it's not mistaken identity. I'm not saying a man deserves to get um, put put away, and I'm, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, there's no smoke without fire. There is no smoke without fire. I don't believe that for a fucking minute, bro.